So you signed into level four classroom and you want to know what to do next. So let's take a look at the classroom, follow my cursor. Right now we're on the stream page and this page is the equivalent of a home page on social media where you would see messages, updates, current letters from me. You can comment on that uh, material and it's just a way for us to quickly communicate as a group. Anytime I post anything new in classwork, it will also show up as a note on the stream. So let's move on to classwork. On the classwork page, the first thing you'll see is a curriculum overview. That's a video explaining all the topics that will be uh, discussed this year. Next, you will see your assignments for the month. So far, we have October's assignments posted. I post assignments on the first of the month or the first week of the month, and they're always due the last day of the month. So you can see the October assignments for level four here, and their due date is October 31st. Let's take a look at an assignment. So on my end, I can see how many people turned in the assignment, and you can turn in your assignment simply by clicking turn in in the classroom. Well, let's see when you go into an assignment, what to do. Well, there'll be directions here and usually a link. Any other posted material or printable material will be either in the link or here in this box. So let's go to the link for session one. It takes you to Blogger where I'm able to post videos, links to the Bible online for you to read. And you'll see that most of these lessons on Blogger have something called an exit ticket or they have a worksheet. This one has a worksheet. You click on the worksheet and put your child's name or put your name if you are the student and then you answer the brief questions now when you hit submit that alerts me to know that you went through the lesson so let's go back to the google classroom underneath the month's assignments you will see extras these other things are not due they're just for your enrichment. Class surveys is really for my information so that I can prepare for future months and curriculum. Next, there are some videos and articles about how to use your Bible. Remember, every student in level four will be receiving a Catholic student Bible that was supposed to happen at a designated mass but those masses, uh, those blessings at the masses for Bibles has been, they've been postponed. Um, and so for the time being, you can certainly use the links within the lessons to the Bible online that I've provided or another Bible that you may have at home. Next in the classroom, under classwork, you will see prayer practice. Um, saying the rosary together as a family is a really wonderful tradition to have and there's some information for you about the rosary here how to say it and a little bit of history there's also a prayer review here so if you're in level four you should definitely have memorized the uh, lord's prayer or the our father and the hail mary and these brief videos can help you memorize those prayers and also, um, if you feel uncomfortable going up for Holy Communion, you might want to review the steps in this video. Again, this is not mandatory. It's just for your enrichment. These parent videos and articles are for your parents. Um, it's, again, just for their information. So I hope that this overview um, shed some light for you on how to move around within the classroom. Of course, if you have any further questions, you can call me at any time in the office. Thank you so much.